Hello, it's Steve here again from the Studio One Soapbox and in today's video what I want to take a look at is our three ways of setting up and preparing to record in Studio One. Uh, these are most notably pre-count where we basically just get a count in and start recording, uh, pre-roll where we can preview the track over a number of bars and then start recording and uh, lastly auto punch uh, which is handy for doing overdubs where we can punch in and punch back out of a certain section of a song. Maybe we just want to correct a little guitar solo or a focal take or whatever it happens to be. So uh, there is uh, key modifiers to quickly get access to these uh, things. But what I want to do is just use the mouse and just show you basically how we set these things up. So firstly, if we come down to where it says metronome and we see the little spanner or the monkey wrench, if we click on that, ignore the top half of this dialog box. It's just about setting up the metronome. And if we come down to the center section, here we have pre-count and pre-roll. So first up, let's go to pre-count. So we click on that. Uh, we say how many bars we would like to be counted in. We'll just say two. I just X that off. And here we'll pretend that we're going to record a solo guitar starting at bar 9. So what I'll do is I'll arm this track. Um, I won't actually record any guitar. I'll just record some uh, random audio just to show you for this example. So as you heard, uh, it counted us in over two bars and then started to record straight away on bar nine. Uh, that's basically your pre-count, which is just a countdown, get ready, get set, go, you're recording. That's all that uh, pre-count is. So if we come back out of that, um, take that off, and back down again to where it says metronome. So we click on the little spanner once again. This time we want to go for pre-roll, so we click on that that off let's go back to bar nine again and on this example what will happen now is uh, say sometimes you want to preview the song just before you start to lay down say a guitar solo for instance in this case or a vocal take or whatever it happens to be and rather than being counting you need to get a feel for the song a feel for the tempo uh, before it's time for you to start recording that's what pre-roll is. So what will happen here, we set this for two bars. So the song will start playing at track seven, but it won't start recording until track nine. So let's just show you that on this little solo guitar track. So as you heard there, with pre-roll, uh, the song started at bar 7, as we'd set it up to listen to two bars of the song before it starts recording. But we didn't actually start recording until it hit bar 9. Now that's handy, as I said, if you would need to get a feel for the song, a feel for the tempo, before you come in, maybe with a lead break, focal take, whatever it happens to be. So that is pre-roll. Uh, lastly, and not leastly, let me get out of this we have auto punch. Now auto punch works slightly differently, uh, but it's just as easy to set up. And um, once you do it a few times, you'll be flying. And as I say, there is keyboard uh, shortcuts for these things, but I just want to show uh, using the mouse today. So to set up auto punch, um, if we come down to this little icon here and we click on that, it says auto punch, or we can hit I on the keyboard, but we'll just use the mouse. And then we have to set the scale of where we want the recording to start and where we want the recording to end. So say I had laid down a guitar solo, but on bar 9 to bar, say bar 13, I had made a few mistakes, fluffed a few notes, and I thought rather than recording the whole guitar part again, I just want to punch in, re-record that part and punch back out. So we have auto punch. Um, selected. 
we have drawn in the range that we want to punch in and punch out. Another thing, uh, if you want to hear the song previous to that, we can have a pre-roll just simply by selecting where we want that to start from. Uh, in this case, I'll say from bar seven. And if we just go down and arm this track, and I'll demonstrate. So what'll happen is we'll hear the song start at bar seven, and it won't start recording until bar nine, and then it will record until bar 13 and stop recording. So let's demonstrate that now. So as you heard there, um, we heard the track play from bar 7, uh, but it didn't start recording until bar 9. Recorded all the way to bar 13, where we had our range set at the top here, and then stopped recording. So that's very handy for any sections where you may have made a mistake. Should it be simply a phrase if you're doing a vocal? Should it be a few notes of a guitar, a few chords of a guitar where you maybe fluff the note or two? And you can just punch in and punch out, just correcting that small section without having to redo the whole part over again. Uh, we can simply just correct the parts where we've got it wrong. Um, one other thing I should show you here. If we go to Studio One, go to Options, and we go to uh, Advanced, go to Audio, and here, as you can see, we have pre-record audio input. If we set that for 20 seconds, uh, or whatever you want it to be, uh, what'll happen then is, uh, if we came in early, say we were playing a guitar solo, and we came in early, uh, what'll happen is, as you can see, I can drag this out, and there we can actually get audio starting from seven, where I had the pre-roll. So say I'd had a few uh, tasty notes before it hit bar nine, I'd be able to include those in the take. But if you don't have that setting, let's go to Studio One, Options, and we're on Advanced, and we're on the Audio tab, Pre-Record Audio Input. If we don't have that ticked, and set anywhere 10, 20 seconds, whatever it happens to be, whatever uh, is comfortable for you, um, we wouldn't be able to do that feature. So that's handy as well, just in case maybe you came in slightly early before nine and you had laid down a couple of extra wee notes and you thought you'd like those and like to keep them in there. So that's basically it today. Uh, we have uh, started with our pre-count, our pre-roll, and here we have our auto punch function. As I say, there's lots of keyboard shortcuts. I mean, you hit I on the keyboard is your auto punch. Hit zero on the keyboard is pre-roll. And if we hit shift click, that is a pre-count that will count us in. So I hope you found that useful. Um, as you can see, three different ways to start and prepare to record. We have our pre-count, our pre-roll, and our auto-punch. So thanks for joining me. Uh, happy mixing, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.